See, this is why when Mikey said, hey, you want a, this locker? I said, hell yeah, without even looking. Because you know why? Because Mikey is the luckiest man on earth. And anything he picks oh, is a good Oh, locker. damn it. See, Michael Jackson's unit, guys. And during the course of the yesterday, I decided to accept an offer on the paintings. Let him go. We're done. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. I hope I said that. I'm trying to say pirates in Spanish. My Spanish is horrible, but I just love the way it sounds in Spanish. It sounds like such a more distinguished word than it does in the English language. But anyway, here we are. It is two day morning. I think it's Wednesday. Got to meet Uncle Michael soon. He's going to be late. Got to go pick up. We're going to pick up today. The 10 by 15 I spent for a thousand bucks, 12 years sitting in storage. They spent over $20,000 in rent easily. I don't know the exact number. I'm gonna try to get the exact number. Well over 20 grand in rent. We're gonna see what they were storing in there. But before we do that, we're waiting for a customer. If you remember last month, I bought this unit. Alex bought it and he got a little scared and didn't want it. He said, and I was gonna outbid him anyway. If he, if it wasn't him bidding, I would've went higher. I would've went like three, 400 easily on the unit. He wanted for 250 and then Here's a lesson in scared money make doesn't make money. Scared money don't make money. He didn't like the unit, so he gave it to me for what he bought. I'm about to sell this one piece for 500 bucks. It's worth more, but it's not in the best shape. And sometimes your first offer is your best offer. We're going to discuss that more soon when we get to the art announcement. But we're about to sell this for $500. One single item in that unit will double my money on the storage by itself. It's not even the item I bought the unit for or wanted to bid on it, but that is the beauty of storage business. When anytime one item pays for a unit or makes you money back and the rest is profit, it is boom. That's what you want to shoot for. That is storage auction dreams right there. That is like, that's the money. Can you play this? Oh, you can hear it. Yeah, this this thing kind of slips up, and you could yeah, if you pull up, you could see the insides of it. I'll hold this, yeah. Okay. There's just one missing, two right there. A couple of keys. You guys play music? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you in a band or something, or what, just for fun? Basically. Yeah, we're going to school for it. Do I hope you don't mind, I'm filming your guys' hands and yeah. stuff. Uh, I do a YouTube channel, so this will be on one of my videos. I think everything's good, except maybe those last two keys, but there's like... One, two, three... Maybe four dead keys? But other than that, it's pretty, pretty damn nice. So it needs a string, is what it is, right? See oh, that? The yes. tines are broken, so yeah. that's why they're dead. Is there another one that's broken? Just those at the end. Just these three? I mean, that that's a pretty easy fix. Just get a couple tines. Ooh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we sold that for $500. Boom, done. Double our money. I love it. So here we are now, it's like 8.30 in the morning, all the kids are off to school, sold the piano, and now we are obviously, as always, waiting on Uncle Mike, always talking about, I'm the one late, but look who we're always waiting on. Getting ready to go to the dumps, we're loading up trash right now. If you guys remember my last Restores or Love video, they didn't want most of their stuff, they just wanted their personal belongings and possessions that mattered to them. I hauled off all the stuff. We're gonna take that to the dumps this morning on our way to pick up a 10 by 15. What's this for Uncle Mike? The wood. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but Uncle Michael actually showed up today, ladies and gentlemen. Hour and 56 minutes late today. But his hair is good. You didn't even wash your hair. Wow. Worth the dumps. He didn't blow dry his Vidal so soon. Oh no, he's Tresemme. Here we are now. We're at Chevron. We're done at the dumps. We're heading on to pick up these units. Uncle Michael needed a second cup of coffee. We only worked for one hour. He already needs a second cup. Showed up two hours late. We're on our third break. I'm trying to get new sensation to YouTube and old time celebrity, Baby Jeebus, to come out with Little Mama Stalker and help film. Because I have two 10 by 15s, but I'm so swamped with stuff. 
and I have auctions tomorrow and the next day that I said, screw it. And I told Scott or Alex, if either one of them want what I paid for it, they can have it. As long as if they hit it big, they gotta give me some. Just give me a little some some for using my intuition. Scott's gonna come get it. Scott has been uh, too exhausted mentally with what he's got going on to make videos. So I said, baby Jeebus and Liz, come out and film because I can't do both and I want them to be filmed. So hopefully they're gonna come out and make some videos with us. And right now we're gonna head on and pick up this 10 by 15 that I bought. This one I liked more for a thousand bucks. Been sitting for 12 years. That's what I found out before. They said it'd been 12 years and during an auction or afterward they told me the lady hasn't even come back or the guy since they bought this been paying. Finally have to let go. Right now, manifest gold, silver, gems, Picasso paintings, Rolex washes, Leica cameras, everything great you can ever think of. Let's think that right now in our brains. Boom. Is it all right if we get to work now, Uncle Mike? Yeah, we got first cup of coffee. All right, yeah. Did you check your hair in the mirror? Oh, my ducks are in a row. No, I didn't. Your ducks are in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, parates of all ages. We are here. This is another unit I bought for 550. I got too much to go. So Scott was knows I've been on a streak. He's willing to gamble. He says, screw it, I'll take the unit and I'll hook you up if I do well. And we're about to take a look in it real quick. This is the reason why I bought this uh, unit right here. If you look right here, you see the costume jewelry on the side, but you couldn't see anything else. Dun, dun, dun. Almost a gold earring. A silver. A silver plated, or gold plated silver. Potentially gold. Potentially gold. Kind of pretty. Costume. Costume, Costume adds up. Mm -hmm. Costume, is that bone? Silver piece. You want to set your silver aside, Scott? I do. Always do. What I'm doing now is I'm doing taking the page out of a, like a Z's and those guys. I'm not going to sell my gold and silver anymore. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, obviously, this stuff I have to. Yeah, pull it hard. Ooh. This has got some potential here. Ooh, potentially good air. No. Yeah, but that tells you they bought something for 200 bucks. Yeah, there's 14 pair of gold somewhere. Ooh. Nice there's a gold piece. Yeah, and diamond. Gold really and diamonds. Pretty. They're not big they're, diamonds, but no. still. That's gold. It's gold. My hunch was right on this one. It's not right on the one I'm in. Actually, it's not bad. They bought some good furniture, but I'm not finding nothing good in the boxes yet. I like jewelry. Look at that. Pretty costume. Nice. You want to see the other costume jewelry I saw when I bought this? It was in that drawer up there. Those are the two things that I liked when I bought this, other than the fact that I liked that nice looking dryer on its side there. And I like stuff like this. When they put their blankets in bags and things like that, it turns me on. this one yep you pulled it Ooh. there's a gram and a half of gold that's grams add up Amen. i'd rather sell grams of gold than grams of drugs <laughs> i don't know it just came off the top of my head some people want to sell drugs some people want to sell gold i don't know some people want to sell themselves Ooh -hoo -hoo. look at that got a price tag on it 14 karat gold. Is that a heart I see on the clasp? No. I see your mom's Christmas present. You can tell her you bought it? Come on, she ain't gonna watch the video and see. way too tiny. You calling your mom a big woman? No, it's just too thin. Oh. What is that? That is actually nice. It's silver? No. I want to I want the white gold. Wow, it's pretty. This is actually a good piece right here. I guess that one's nice. I like the way their clothes was in this drawer. Even though I don't like plastic drawers, they were all like, clean and folded. You ever, when you open up a unit, you ever try to sniff the laundry? <laughs> I go straight for the dirty clothes. I go straight for the dirty No, I try to sniff. Like, if you like this, if they have dirty clothes, you know they don't take care of stuff. Their stuff smells like downy or something. You're like, okay, all right. <gasps> I told you, that's what made me buy the unit. That nice, it looks clean. It's on the side, but it's the dryer. 
Mom's got dibs. Mom's got dibs. Another drawer. Holy smokes, Michael. This is the good one. Silver. Ooh, what are those? Just. Mm. Those are cute. They're gold. I like these dibs. It's like a dollar in gold. See, this is why when Mikey said, hey, you want a, this locker? I said, hell yeah, without even looking. Because you know why? Because Mikey is the luckiest man on earth. And anything he picks oh, is a good Oh, locker. damn it. That's, all, that's gold. That's, that's not, that's a little bit of gold, too. That's Kaipel? good eight grams. Oh, that's, that's a nice. pretty piece. You, three, four. you know what's funny? Because Alex is going to watch this video. I offered this unit to him. I told him it's going to be good. He's like, I'll see what I buy. I'm like, how about you move this, sell it? Oh, oh my. Oh, damn. Woo. That's pretty. Damn. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm excited already. We did good. <laughs> I love being correct. Yeah, yeah. Come on, eight carat diamond ring. No. See, that, that leads me. I wonder where the diamond rings are, the yeah, rings, because there's. Yeah, she's probably wearing some. Yeah, but she sure looks All right. a lot in One here. piece of gold. Little gold backs. Jeez, where'd you find this box at? More gold. It was in the same All place the last gold. ones were, the top drawers, the plastic containers. All gold. Nice. They're not much, but it adds up. Yeah, I definitely will. Let's see if there's a right No. Mm. Yeah, right? Is that silver? Nah, no, you can tell by the class. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, this is heavy. Come on. Almost. Almost. That, it could be real, you never know. No, it's not. Imagine if that was. I was trying. Smoke we still got more over here, though. That's what's exciting. This one looks silver. No. It's a heart. No. Come on, baby Jeebus. No, this is empty. Okay. Empty. This is full. Come on, all the rings. Looks like a white gold. That's nice. Are there two of those? Yeah, one, two. Nice. Those look like gold and silver. Nice. Look at this. These people are very methodical. All their jewelry's in the top drawers of each of the plastic containers. All right. Those are gold, too. She liked gold earrings. I'm dipping these. They're a Christmas gift to a young lady. They're citrine. They're yellow citrine. I did by the heart, Scott. There's a ring, too. No, it's no, a keychain, Uncle Michael. Oh, Come on. It's in there. Ha <laughs> ha! That is almost wearable. That's 20 inches. That's what she said. <laughs> Damn, they like their gold. No, Still nice. Pretty. It's got a little diamond in it. I wish I could read. <laughs> Look at my stores, man. So I was supposed to move out of here, and I guess apparently I have decided to keep my warehouse. It's nuts. I have all this unboxing to do. It's freaking ridiculous. Dang it, sorry. That was in one camera view. I'm supposed to do it in this point five. Always forget. Hustle Grind and Wine is never done. We are heading to the market tomorrow before the auctions. We want to make as much money as possible. I know we'll get our thousand bucks back on this, but we have this hole. So we're going to finish up and we're going to tidy this up, make it full, and try to whittle a, bit of, whittle a little bit of room tongue twister in this unit. Upon loading it up, what we're going to do is we're going through everything, looking at all the stuff we found over the, probably some of it over the years. Making sure we either want to eBay or just take it to the market. Like, this is like 40 bucks. They're made in Lilac bottles. Actually, this could be more. Unsure, but they're made in Lilac bottles. This right here is sold for 28 on eBay. At the flea market, I'm getting three to five. So, I'll set that aside and leave that for eBay. And we sold the washer and dryer. A little, un little annoyed. This is one of the $100 bills they give me. with this mold on there, a burn mark, or what the hell they did to this thing, but dang it. Trying to get these shelves down. It's been annoying. I'm sorting things. Gonna, I got so many little trinkets. I don't know. They're not quite worth eBaying because I don't like doing too many individual items. And then they're also not worth just taking the flea market. 
I don't know. Maybe we'll do some mystery boxes of just like random stuff. Look at that. All this brand new printing. Who knows? It just sits on the shelves waiting for eBay. You can see it's late now. It's like six o'clock. Gotta go pick up the kids, get home. Getting lots of stuff sorted for eBay. All this stuff has just been sitting around from all the storage units. A Griswold pan, vintage, some type of electric stimulation, airbrush makeup system, just stuff, just everywhere piles up. We're getting it set for different type of sales. Gucci glasses, Salvatore's, all just stuff everywhere. So that's what I'm doing in my downtime in the rain is sorting everything for either flea market, eBay, move to my house, throw in the junk pile. Throw in the junk, throw in the trash pile. So we're separating. Like I said, we're gonna do some type of mystery boxes, maybe. I don't know. But we got it's 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 you never never know. Look this up right here. This little piece of metal at the flea market is like two bucks. On eBay, that's thirty-five to forty bucks. What of course I'm gonna do that. Same thing with this one. Gibson. G B R E G. And I believe those are Gibson. I've had these stuff sitting around. I just leave stuff piled up. Much rather put that on eBay than take it to the flea market. Cell phones and calculators piling up. Woo, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. It is Thursday morning, and we are off to the flea market, and then we are off to the auction. This is what we got going on right here on our drive to the flea market. It is cold wet. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. I'm going to tell you guys something. Uh, there's a very special unit today I'm going for. I got to get there and get back. This is one of the first auctions of the day, but... Upon my research, I noticed one name, Michael Jackson. And first thing I'm thinking is this, the Michael Jackson's unit. Is there a unit that has been sitting hidden for years and it potentially belongs to Michael Jackson? Is it gonna be a unit full of white gloves, uh, beaded pants, little zipper jackets and stuff? I used to have one of those when I was a kid, two of my favorite jackets, I had like 37 pockets on just the jacket. But my brain says it could be Michael Jackson's unit. I gotta go buy it. So here we are, heading to Stockton in the rain, 4.45 in the morning, lots to do, hustle, grind, rewind. Ooh, it's a beautiful morning already. We got a uh, Lake Minnetonka back here, next to Tony. What's that? Setting everything up. We got a tarp over here for the good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's where we're at. Tony, right here, made an agreement with him and George. Uh, one dollar. I put all the good high dollar furniture back in my trailer. Everything you see here, I sold a little bit, got some money back. Basically going to break even on that almost. I had Alex going to the auction this morning and I thought to myself, well, I know my good buddy storage stalker and he tends to get a little nervous when the good units come up and stops and doesn't bid. And I did give him all my money to go to the auction today, but I thought about it. I was like, I don't want to hear tomorrow that somebody got a $20,000 unit for three grand and Alex was... 2900 so i'm gonna rush to the auctions to be there with him so we can play scared money don't make money also the fact is this unit was not the best unit i paid a thousand bucks because of the dust and sometimes you gotta like know when to fold them i'd rather walk away and take a break even or make hardly anything to make sure i get to the next one because i wasn't that impressed with it We're tony would you like to before i leave because i might not see you for the rest of this <laughs> holiday season depending on would you like to tell the whole world happy holidays oh yeah you? merry christmas to everyone Happy New Year, all that. Enjoy. And everybody comment below, happy holidays in Kwanzaa and New Year's to Tony as well. Thank you. Right, right. Yeah. Ooh, and not to mention, um, I, like I said earlier, I'm trying to buy a Michael Jackson storage unit today. Not sure if it is the Michael Jackson, but who knows? I'm, ha I'm all in with this one because you never know. You, what my buddy Wayne always says, you never know unless you come get it. I came to get it and that's what I'm doing. Another thing is, I took a basically a loss that I broke even. I walked away with 20 bucks after uh, taking all expenses in. But the fact is, I didn't see, if I would have stayed there the whole day, I would have barely, I wouldn't have got my money back on the furniture and I would have only made about probably the same thing. I would have probably brought in an extra $200 to stay there the whole day and miss the chances of finding that next big score, hitting that home run. And I'll take the stuff back, put it on Craigslist, Facebook marketplace, etc. etc. I'm actually asking Jack advice on what he would sell it for and where because he seems to do pretty good online at furniture. So I'm gonna take a note out of the Locker Nuts page and see what he would do. Um, what would Jack do? And we will make our money back this way. 
like I said, you gotta, sometimes you got to make uh, pimp decisions real quick in a moment of time. And I want to get to the auction because I'm chasing more, bigger, better units. <laughs> <laughs> what are those chunks? I don't know. I don't know either. What is all there? Is it a mattress? Yes, it is. What do you see? Some radio stuff. I see it. Like I told you guys, I had a feeling it might be Michael Jackson's unit. You never know. He could have a long lost unit. Maybe he had a little side room here. He was chilling, taking vacations, some even paying the bill. It could be his unit. That is the mentality I have because I have a fairy tale mentality. Somebody got me a gift. What is inside? This is cute. One of the storage buyers brought me a gift and said, hey, Mike, I got something for Christmas for you. I'm opening it. I don't care. <laughs> oh, Justin, I should have known. Justin created, he's the one who gave me the unicorn bag. He knows how I feel about unicorns. Now I got another unicorn bag from him. Ooh. Look at that. Those are nice. Rocket ship. <laughs> um. Glitter poop. He gave me glitter poop. Unicorn glitter poop. All right. And, uh, and I don't think I could show this last part on TV. So thank you for that, Justin. Much love, buddy. Oh, I'm late to the next one. There's paperwork in those boxes. You know. Is that a what? It looks like a, a, a black jacket. It's been locked up for two years. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said we tried to tell you ten thousand a day on my live, and you said no. So I'm glad you jumped up to five thousand, yeah, which will sure. be like what, like a week? Oh, <laughs> hey, so I got a body of Where are you at right now? Five thousand, um, like thirty-four, thirty-five. Put out a few more videos. Yeah, I have one five videos put out today. What is it up? A uh, suitcase that I. Nine eight fifty to open for seventy-five. Yeah. Got 75, look for 100. Got 100, look for 125. Got 125, look for 150. Got 150, look for 175. 150, look for 175. 175, look for two. Got two, look for 225. Got 225, look for 250. 225, look for 250. This young man is scared of hopping in a lift or a cab. I said, I said, hey, baby, she just come out film with me yesterday. He's like, I don't have a ride. I said, I needed a ride. And then. No one offered a lift until today. Well, I'm just saying, like, and, and now you're scared of a lift you haven't even been in yet. Lifts are awkward. You get a car with a random stranger. You know what's awkward? What? Being awkward. <laughs> it is very awkward. That was profound, wasn't it? It's very awkward being awkward. You are a YouTube sensation. You got to let that go. <laughs> YouTube sensation. That's yes. still awkward. Hey, you see him? Big Jeebus over there? Awkwardest human being in the world. That's why you're Babe Jeebus. <laughs> Davey yeah, Crockett. That was almost yeah, an experience. Right. It actually has intriguing art. It's kind of weird. See how he took care of it too? It's on the plastic and stuff like that. Yeah. Getting ready for the next lean sale. Here is the little posting. Section code, blah, blah, blah. Pinot code, da, 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 da. Lots of cleaning supplies. See that giraffe? So boys, are And the bicycle. Opa. <laughs> I know what is my partner's problem. <laughs> the one the unit. Oh, what the case? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Let me look at the tripod. Oh. I need a C on your side, so I'll wait. And the washer. 
And the drive. Some camera stuff. Is it opening video? More than two? More than three? I'm just kidding. More than four? More than five? How much? Really? What is open? So, Justin gave me. A present and I call him Axl Rose. I found this in my storage unit. So it's only fitting that I give him a Christmas gift. Sir, I got a Christmas gift for you now. Yeah, I think you brought me the unit I got. Was this in that unit? Yeah. The one you just got? Yeah. Dude. It's what? you. <laughs> That's why I, I nickname you. I always say it's Axl Rose. There you go. And I do play music. <laughs> Wow. No. No, I don't like this. They drink cheap beer. That's a, that's a sign right there. Hey. Hey. Yeah, can you do What's down there? Trophy lamp. Mattress fell over. Christmas ornaments are about to be going out of style. The cheap Legos. Limited edition. There goes all my YouTube friends. That's a wrap on today's auction. I bought one, actually two units. I bought one because it was Michael Jackson's storage unit. I was all in because you never know if it was really Michael Jackson's unit. So we're going to find out if it was. Michael Jackson's unit. With that being said, we also bought another unit for $2,200. As soon as I bought that unit for $2,200, the woman was standing in front with her boyfriend or whatever. She's like, oh, that's my dad's unit. And I was like, oh, fork my life. I don't want to. I didn't even, I'm not going to lie. I uh, profiled a woman. I was like, damn it, I don't like this unit because I don't like the way you look. You look a little bit like too much like you was at the rave last night and you just woke up. And you might not have nothing good in your unit that I just spent $2,200 in. But fact is, she started talking about, I wanted to get in one box and have some records and stuff. So I went and took a peek real quick. I took a little peek. And uh, there is a very nice record collection in this unit. I think this person is a band member, an actual music band member. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. You guys have to wait to see this. All right, could this be my new lock? Is it a bug? Please be my new locks. Oh, 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 is it the locks? Why are they put it upside down like that? Okay. Can we open up one and we see what they look like? Okay. Open up this one, I guess. Oh, Your fancy look at that, ladies and gentlemen, lion locks. You know why I got these? Because I'm a lion. <laughs> Who, ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. Today is now Friday. Yesterday was the auctions. I just bought those units I discussed. And during the course of the yesterday, I decided to accept an offer on the paintings. Let them go. We're done. We've reached the sale of price. Sale a price. They were picked up from my art. I had my art seller pick them up from my uh, security private bank. Shout out to you, Mr. Nuts, for keeping my art safe. It's nice in this world to have people you can trust. I trust Jack very far. He's been um, keeping my art safe for me, locked away. And now they are about to be taken to a man, a doctor, and they are about to be sold. And we will be disclosing the final sale price on my four pieces of eight as well i'm wondering when should i release these videos should i release them tomorrow should we start right away tomorrow or should we build more suspense and wait let me know in the comments right now are you finally ready to see these masterpieces that i found at auction for a 3800 storage unit if you are comp below pirate uh stop teasing us it's christmas